The first part of the interface we're going to talk about is this large area in the middle of our screen. This area is called Model Space, and this is where we do all of our drafting. This is our virtual drafting board. Now, I've got some line work on my screen. I don't expect you to open the same drawing. I only have this line work here as an example of what you might see in Model Space in a typical AutoCAD file. Now, the nice thing about Model Space is that it's infinite in size. That means we can draft anything we want at a scale of 1 to 1 or full size. Think about this for a second. Back in the days when we drafted with a paper and pencil, if I was an architect and I was drawing this floor plan, I'd have to draw it to a scale such that it would fit within the confines of my sheet of paper. Now that we're drafting with a computer, we don't have to worry about scale. We can draft anything we want, whether it's as small as a gear or as large as an entire airport, and we can draft it at full scale. Now this model space environment is actually a tab. If I look a little bit lower in my interface, I can see a series of tabs down there. If you're familiar with Microsoft Excel, these tabs work the same way. Currently my Model Space tab is current. I'm going to click on the Layout 1 tab. When I do, it appears we're looking at a sheet of paper on our screen. Now this actually is a sheet of paper. Every new AutoCAD drawing comes with two sheets of paper that can be used to plot our drawings later. These sheets of paper are called layouts, and we'll talk about these guys a little bit more when we get into our chapter about plotting. For right now, just know that if you see a sheet of paper on your screen and you want to return to Model Space, simply click the Model Space tab. Model Space is the place where all of our designs take shape, no matter how small or large they may be.